These three men have declared war on flooding. Cantonal Insurance Chief Christoph Baumgartner, Josef Eberli, the Cantonal Engineer, and Andreas Goetz, who works for a commission that manages natural hazards. In 2005, we experienced flooding that caused a record amount of damage, 3 billion francs. And we said to ourselves, it can't go on like this. So the engineers built a catchment basin into the slopes of the Stanzerhorn to stop loose rubble from filling the stream, causing it to overflow. Without this, the recent heavy rain would have taken its toll. The Stanzerhorn stream would have flown down into the town below. The Cantonal Hospital down there would have been particularly hard hit by the flooding. We were able to avoid this thanks to the catch basin. This is how the field above Stans looked during the floods of 2005. Rubble spread out over the hills, damaging agricultural land. This was the situation earlier this week. A lot of water flowed down the mountain, but not a lot of rubble. The fields were untouched, thanks to the catchment basin. This is the Cantonal Hospital, which is particularly vulnerable. In 2005, nothing could be done to stop flood water pouring into the hospital. The emergency services were pushed to their limits. It took weeks before the hospital could return to normal. Christoph Baumgartner described the situation here a few days ago. The day before yesterday, a lot of water came down from the hills, and we could see it building up where you see those walls. From there, the stream was redirected and guided into this channel. The water goes down this path here. Well, it's a path most of the time, but when the water comes down this far, it acts as a canal system, rerouting the stream down around the built-up area and into the marshes, which absorb all the water like a sponge. 2005. Many cellars like this one were flooded. The fight against the deluge seemed hopeless. Hopefully this won't happen again. What we see here is a structure we can use when we get a lot of water, as was the case last Saturday, when we had several centimetres. We were able to close gates like this so that the water couldn't flow down here and flood cellars and garages. In May 1999, heavy rainfall coincided with the main snowmelt period. The resulting floods caused nearly 600 million francs worth of damage. This could happen again. But thanks to new defences built by experts, the damage could be greatly reduced.